you robber! Where's my friend? My beautiful stuff? Hey guys, I'm back. And I was also like a random skit thing, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. But it's not my entire thing. I'm gonna be doing something completely different. I'm gonna be doing a little like building tutorial. This is gonna be on furniture. So I've got a nice empty house here uh, with some nice. <gasps> the piggies laid an egg. Uh, it just it just disappeared. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with something really simple. We'll go with a fridge. So, what you're going to need for this is an iron block. If you're in survival, you don't really need an iron block. You just need something that's like the color of iron. You can even use a snow block if you have it. So, I'm going with a block of iron. You need a dispenser. And an iron door. And this is... Um, obviously, you guys see me throwing it on the ground. It's not like a command block creation or anything. It's actual Minecraft. Well, command blocks are in actual Minecraft. But anyway. Then you're going to need some treats that you want to keep fresh I'm gonna no, cook. you don't need to keep cookies fresh keep all this some nice beautiful cake and some potatoes so what you're gonna do really simple oh you also need one button so I'm gonna go with a stone button because I recommend going with this too because it looks the neatest you can always place your dispenser right over there or wherever you want to place it. You can do it in the middle of your room because you're feeling like it. Uh, right on top, you need to place press shift, place your blo block of iron right on top. Then you're going to need your iron door. Go right into the thing, turn around, look at the floor so you're looking at opposite of the fridge, and right click. And now you have this. Then you're going to put your button right over here on the side of the fridge. And let's just discard these items and put our treats so now you can go into here put in all your treats and now when you're feeling peckish you can just go up here and grab yourself some nice cake get all the cake in the world nom 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 okay so let's just clean up all our mess oh my god destroy the floor the floor Let's just destroy everything. Because we're on a rampage today. Whoa, be free. Next, which is extremely simple, but some people don't know it if you're new to Minecraft. So it's going to be really simple. It's a chair. <coughs> no, don't. First, you need to type in a chair. Just kidding. You're going to need to type in a stair. It rhymes with chair. Then you're going to need one stair. You're gonna need some sp spelling, two signs, and that's basically it. Or if you're gonna do it against a corner like this, you only need one, but it looks really derpy like that. Should I'll show you a couple different variations. First is just a random, so first the standard chair that some people do. When I just uh, I didn't go place on your bus, uh, stair, wherever you want, and take your sign, place it on one side. Don't type in anything, just press down. Other side, press it, press down. I have a little chair. It's amazing. Let's break that. Now if you want a sofa, you can put a couple of these. Put down a sign. Put down a sign. That's one variation to it. Again, alternately, you can also just take uh, some uh, oak planks, I mean oak logs or whatever logs you want put it like that it looks okay you can also put it like that if you want if you're feeling like it looks good uh that's also another variation of the sofa i think if you really want you can also do this i don't really like it some people do this i don't know i don't know i really don't it looks really weird to me i don't know then you can also do something like this then you're also gonna need another sign of oh wrong place right click there right click there and you have one of those little chair things uh get rid of those and lastly i'm gonna just i don't want to keep staring staying on chairs for too long uh oh okay i'm gonna need one wooden door uh and one stair that's matching the same color just use oak just to be simple especially if you're in 
place on your oak your and then place place on the stair, place on the oak door right behind it. And I have this like nice little chair looking thing. Oh, I fell out of the house. Uh some some text back on here just have the handle, which I like. So the handle's not there, it looks pretty much like a chair, I guess you could can you do this? No, you can't. Okay. Um moving on. This is extremely simple. It's gonna be a table. What you're gonna need is one fence of your choice. And a pressure plate of your choice. I'm gonna go with wooden because that's the general theme right now. Place your oak fence, place your pressure plate on top. There you go, instant amazingness. You could also just do the fence and a slab, but it looks I find it looks a little bit weird. It looks really fat. And also it's extremely tall, so I don't like it. I guess it could be a table, but I don't know. It doesn't look like one. Some people do that, I don't know why. Um Another thing that you could do is take a piston, uh, take that, and you're going to need a lever or other, some, some sort of power source. Uh, mine one block into the ground, place your lever, turn it on, press shift, place your piston on top. What did I just do? There we go. Actually, there are two blocks in. Sorry. Turn on your lever. Turn on your piston, and here you are. You have the most amazing thing ever. You can like put all the apples here now. Or finally, a place to keep your apples. Amazing. Now it's time for it to die. Rip apple. I must bury it. I'll be right back. I'll find some more things that we can build. Okay, so. Okay, so the next one is gonna be a lamp. It's really simple, you're gonna need a fence, a redstone lamp, and um, some sort of power source. I recommend a redstone block. So place your uh, fence, place your redstone lamp, and then go outside and then place your not like that like that no no like that. like that obviously this is it has to be against a wall and it looks really weird if you put it near glass but if it's like uh, up against a wooden wall it looks nice uh again there's always al alternatives to this piece of glass you can also just do um you take some wood one plank some uh, flower pot, flower pot, and you take a cactus. Again, um, you could also instead of doing that little thing with the redstone line, I'll just use normal glowstone. It, you could also do that, by the way, if you feel like it. Actually, I don't like that. Place on your block, flower pot, that, and then up here you can take your glowstone. Place it down. Obviously, you can do this any, anywhere you want. And then you can take some trapdoors. It can be iron or wooden. Let's go with iron for this one. Oh, you can't close it. Forgot about that. You can use wooden to make the most perfect. You can also just put a carpet on top just to so you can feel fancy. And there you go. So let's do slash time set. Right? And even with dark, it'll be nice and bright this amazing lamp. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Next up, we have a sink. For this, you're going to need a cauldron, a bucket of water, and um, a tripwire. Yep. And just grab all those. Place down your cauldron, fill it with water, and oh, that doesn't work like that. Okay, so what you're going to do is find a place that doesn't have glass behind it, so it, can, it, can have, it has to be an opaque block, such as uh, wooden planks. Place on your cauldron, water bucket, uh, trip wire, and you have the you have a nice looking uh, sink. Uh, moving on, you can also go. You can also do something similar with toilets. Uh, again, you're gonna need a cauldron, bucket of water, and the again, obviously none of these things are actually functional in Minecraft, but what these could be used for, like the sink, could be used, um, okay, let's rebuild that sink over here. 
Uh, let's get our trip wire. Put that down. So let's get some leather armor. Well, it could be considered leather clothes. And let's pretend that we get it all. We accidentally stain it with some uh, game auto. And we accidentally stain, stain it with some like ink. So now we have this MLG black jacket that we don't want anymore. We want to dye it like pink because that's the manliest color ever. You obviously go up to the sink and wash it out. And now you have the normal leather tunic again, which is amazing. But obviously the water level is now lower. And again, we can just keep doing this. Uh, bone meal. Meal? No, no. Minecraft. Ink. No. Dye? Does it like dye? Okay. That's that's nice. But apparently that's how Minecraft works. You can do that. And you can just keep going until the water finishes. And you're gonna need another water bucket to refill the sink. So now it's all empty, but it washed down the stuff. Oh uh, then you can just put take a water bucket and just fill it up again. It's not a one time use. Do as much time. You can also use it to fill up potions. So if you do have a potion lab, obviously that's what colors are meant for potions, but you can use them in this manner too. Also, if you're on fire you can, and you jump into a cauldron, it'll l reduce the water level by one, as you uh, like basically as if you're washing a tunic or something, and it'll make sure you're not. On, it'll basically douse the flames. Again, you it totally could be used for the same thing, but washing the stuff from the toilet or getting stuff for potions from the toilet, it's just weird. So let's move on to the toilet. What you need is a cauldron. You, again, you can just do, you can also do this in the floor if you want. Take a water bucket. Take a trap door. And simply do that. And now you have a little toilet. Again, you could also do this above ground. I don't know why people do it under it, but obviously it has to be an okay block near it. Pull with water, trap door, there we go. MLG toilet. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Okay, and the last one is going to be something very nice, which is a fireplace. You need a bunch of bricks. Uh, uh, I like using bricks. You can use whatever you want. Uh, alternatively, you can also use nether bricks, which is a, a lot safer, but you will have to travel to the nether to get it. I do not think it looks as good as like normal bricks in a fireplace but I guess you could use it then you're gonna need a bunch of iron bars and you're gonna need obviously you don't need 64 that's a uh, too much uh, then you're gonna need either a flint and steel or a fire charge or whatever I'm just gonna use a flint and steel nether rack or some other block obviously some people might not have gone to the nether yet and might not have nether rack you can also use wooden planks they all burn um, coal blocks if you have a lot of coal in your disposal. So all you're going to need to do is just look where you want the fireplace to be. I want it over here. Take these blocks out. Plate, replace it with another rock or whatever block you want to burn. Make sure it's in abundance. Then what you want to do is make sure there are no flammable blocks near this. So these wooden planks are now out. Basically anything that's flammable that's near it should go away. Just so make sure it's in a place that there's no like wooden blocks in it. Basically anything flammable. <sighs> then what you're gonna do is obviously don't destroy your house, so put a fireplace in, but do this. Put it against like a uh, I guess near the fireplace you could like make it stone or something. Stone stone brick if you have it. Set this on fire. And then put this in. Take a nice this. And there you go, we have a nice fireplace that can do stuff. Like burn stuff. And your house.
You shouldn't have wooden blocks near this. Because they will set on fire. Everything is just falling apart. Okay, I'm just gonna end this video right here. Anyway, if you liked it, um, leave a like, subscribe, and you can watch this house. And if you subscribe and like, you can slowly watch this house burn down.